must fight! Zax! Oh, couple left me out to dry, had to crucify. Stab me in my back, you ain't my dog, you getting euthanized. Lying on the gang, speaking down, that shit is suicide. Like ain't no excuse in getting on because we unified. Came through faster, we move faster, yeah, we move faster. Can't stop till we beat you bastard. With me and meet your master, won't come last, we move right past her. Destroy that night, eat you right. It is a welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Leon Edwards. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing today. It doesn't. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big body kick. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike. He's very effective with it. Just over two minutes, round one. Missed with that attempt. Beautiful body kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, working the inside of that leg. And that one certainly found the target. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Edwards gets hit by that kick to the body. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have the... All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Edwards gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
So we pull up the numbers here. 45 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 52% accuracy against Leon Evans. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just missed with the straight left hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Punch is blocked. Just out of range with the straight left hand. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, let this fight do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the talking, man. He's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets the title fight. Edwards' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Diaz gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus fits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh! touching you with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round. They shoot right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. That one landed clean. Oh, straight right. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Back to the feet. Three minutes to go in round three. 107 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Oh! Swollen now. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out the space, find places to rest and recover. Wow! He's out! Unbelievable! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge.